Hello and welcome to Wooden Dog Gaming. I am Blazuic, your host for today's show. Uh, today we have Dragon Age 2, which was released yesterday on demo for Steam, and you can also download it off the Dragon Age 2 website by Bioware. Um, just to let you all know, I've never played Dragon Age before, so this is a new for me, and you'll probably see, um, especially you veterans, and anyone that's got any kind of common sense, really, that I have no actual skill at all. I don't know how the camera works properly, I got very confused using the A and D button. Um, I like to spam quick, but as that's also the same button you use to move your camera, I kind of got a bit confused. So if you see me panning around up and down the screen as if I'm in a fighter plane, you'll understand why. Uh, not playing Dragon Age 2 before, I don't really know the mechanics of the game before I started. Um, I've got a better grasp of it now. Um, seems to be uh, quite good. Seems like a typical Bioware game, to be honest, as I've played um, Baldur's Gate before. Now, I know from the previous game, a lot of people had complaints about the uh, textures of it. I really like the textures of the play, of the actual characters themselves, the actual world itself is not that great if I'm honest for the game. You'll also notice that I have cut out the cutscenes. They are extremely long for one and they're really boring. I'm not a cutscene person and for a one hour demo I really didn't want to be watching cutscenes for 45 minutes of it. Yes, only 15 minutes of this game is actually gameplay. The rest of it is trite. Utter bollocks. But what can you do? That's the way games go now. And another cutscene! Wow, look at that, fantastic. What a start to the game. You'll, if you actually play this, you'll find that everything is basically locked. You can't look at your inventory, you can't make your character how you want to look like. The only thing you can actually do is change your name. This is uh, the level up screen. I wasn't really paying attention to me leveling up until it came up on the side. You'll see basic stats that you're getting in it every other game. Um, I like a bit of constitution because I'm quite crap. So I want to try and live as long as I can. Um, I can't really remember what I gave these characters, so we'll have a look as I go through. I just seem to be quick and to see how things work. I think the trees are quite self-explanatory. Uh, you put more points into a certain tree and you unlock others. Mind Blast to reduce your aggro, because I was watching um, Total Biscuits uh, version, which he does do the full length demo with all the cutscenes and everything else in it, and I found that the caster kept getting smashed in the face which is what I'd do if I was playing against a caster. But, taken from that, I decided to give her a bit more constitution in this one. Although you'll see later on that it was uh, a big mistake putting any points into her anyway. And that's enough said about that one. Other than that, there's not a lot to really say about this. this is uh, typical, you pick your skills, you put points in it, and it levels up. You go pew pew and smash people in the face. Pommel strike, it's always good. Who doesn't like to smash somebody else in the face with a pommel? Um, I used to think it would be a really cool thing to do when I used to do medieval reenactment. However, due to the fact that it was quite dangerous and normally broke noses, they wouldn't let us do it very often. So instead, me and Fasca used to throw pine cones as grenades instead. Because that's what pine cones are for, are they not? Grenades? No? Anyway, I thought this my character main guy would be amazing as a healer to heal people up, keep them alive, and then I kind of realised that I'm not very good at it, and it kind of didn't work. So I use something else. Uh, this is one thing I didn't realise about the game: you could set up uh, tactics. So if you are not controlling one character, then the character will set itself to do certain things in your stead which is really good because uh, my micro is not the best in the world so swapping between characters is not always the first thing I think of and here's some more of the same mods uh, close up they look like 
Scorpio or Scorpio or Scorpius or whatever the name is. Start so fast escape from a distance. They were like for a high kind of a little bit of a shield. I can't imagine where they got their inspiration from. The landscape is a bit bland, if I'm honest. It's a bit boring, don't you think? Fire is uh, quite cool though, although the actual effects of it aren't that great. But then you can't change any graphical settings, from what I can remember. So I could have them on really low. But my computer is really, really gash. At this point, I managed to get myself stuck, can't move anywhere. And that's kind of attributed to the fact that I don't really know how to use the camera and it's really confusing. Well, it's confusing for me anyway. Anyone with a bit of sense, it will be perfectly fine for. As you'll see, we made another cutscene and that's where we picked up those two extra people. Only one of which we can use, which is the female at the bottom and she's the tank. At the moment we're not really doing anything special, it's a traditional RPG run around, quirk stuff, they sparkle. I have no idea why people sparkle in games. It's not exactly the first thing I think would happen to a person when they die. Yes, I'm in the throes of agony, I'm dying, but I will sparkle. I will be part of Twilight. Uh, what else can I really say about this? It's just running through and hitting people with fire, I guess. It's not really that interesting. It's quite boring, to be honest. I will say I'm not a single player game person. I get extremely bored with them. I'm a social gamer. I don't see the point in playing computer games on your own, in a dark room, like a pedophile. It's not something that I would deem as being amazingly fun. That could be just me. I'm sure it is just me, to be honest. I'm sure a lot of you do like sitting in your room, scratching your ass, clicking on unintelligible characters. But you know, each to their own. Ooh, rubble. What will the rubble give us? A belt. Someone had the foresight to bury their belt in a load of rubble before they died. I can't think it being the first thing I'd come to want to do. There we go. See what more sparkly people. He looks a bit like uh, We've got the Lone Ranger to be honest. It's at this point that the game gets a little bit more interesting. Not because you know, something super duper happens or, you know, the gods come down and give me superpowers and I just explode them all at once. It's got more to do with the fact you get to see how bad of a player and manager of characters I am. For those that haven't played this before or any type of game like this before, what I should be doing now is swapping between my characters, using their abilities, tactically moving them around the battlefield with finesse and style. Not like what I'm doing where I've just clumped them all together to get surrounded and get their faces eaten. That is not what you want to do. Because it's only now I really realised that I should be doing this. Because I was so into trying to just kill stuff and stab them. Stab them with my staff obviously because that's what you do with a staff instead of using spells. And as you'll see my characters get very low on health. She's nearly dead. I now decide it would be a very good idea to move her but it's too late as you can see she just died my two-handed swordsman he's getting low on health do i move him no i let him fall and eat dirt so i'm left to two characters my healer and my tank however despite this i managed to hold my forces together that are left and we pull through and dispatch of the two guys with no health because we are that amazing and in typical RPG fashion, the people that died resurrect with absolutely no logical reason why they just resurrect. Why they couldn't have done it in the middle of the battle, I don't know. I think it's um, quite disappointing really. They've got the common decency to resurrect themselves after the last two people have taken the brunt and killed them off. Cowards. 
that to an all I can say. Bloody cowards. And what was he doing? I don't care if he's injured. He can fight, he can use his left hand, his right sword hand might be empty, but he can still punch. Strength. Oh dear. Oh, At least your breasts are still perfectly formed, I guess. Out of anything. I was going to show you the next instalment of level ups of the characters, as you can see on the left hand side, they're flashing, and now they're not. I decided not to simply for the fact that I've only got 15 minutes and because of the gameplay and the amount of time I've got I wouldn't have been able to fit it in and properly show you. So all you can all I can say is that I added some more abilities and upgraded the ones I already had so it wasn't exactly anything special, it was just a skip screen. If you want to see it again, you can go back and have a look to your heart's content. Uh, I really like this guy. He looks really cool. I wish I could have one as a pet because I just love monsters. Monsters are the most amazing creatures ever created in the minds of humans. I know we have all this technology and computers and stuff, but it's the mind that's amazing and this monster is cool. I think I'm going to call him Boris. He looks like a Boris. He has a temper like a Boris, so he can be Boris. But here, you'll see that I actually decided to go with someone else other than my healer because I realised that I am really crap at healing in this game. I can't keep my guys alive, so I went for the two random swordsmen instead. And as it happens, he's a lot more fun because he's got a two-handed sword which is as big as him, so it's almost like anime style. And he just swings like a bastard. And he's got an ability which is pretty cool in a minute. And see when I managed to get it activated. Boom! Yes, that's what we like. Shockwave. Didn't knock him over like a shockwave would. Didn't make him step back like a shockwave would. But it was a shockwave nonetheless, so that was pretty cool and I like that. There we go, camera mistake. Can't get used to the camera. And we'll just uh, dispatch these last few guys before we try and take on uh, Boris. Because otherwise these guys literally just kick the crap out of you because you know they just do I don't know whether you take more damage from behind or not but my tank seems to take more damage from the mobs than the actual big guy himself so I'm not quite sure how that works it could be a mechanic in the game I'm sure some veterans can tell you if you ask them that's how it works and now it's just a case of taking this guy down uh, you will see that I find it hard to stop my um, two-handed swordsman from taking AoE damage so I do have to keep swapping at the moment now I'm trying to see whether I've got a heal up not quite so I believe it yeah I do I just run my guy away and keep him away from some of the AoE damage until I can heal him and then I run back in and go BOOM smack I did have issues trying to get the first ability to activate I don't know whether I was meant to be clicking on him specifically or whether it was just lagging, or whether it's a uh, fault in the game, but that didn't seem to work. But my second ability seemed to hit off every single time I tried it. Uh, it took me a while to realise that my tank had no stamina, so probably the aggro was going. Um, so I just quickly swapped over and clicked on my stamina potion on the bottom right hand corner there on the screen in case nobody saw me do that. Because I did turn off the cursor, which was good because I don't like curses flying around the screen that aren't part of the game but it also means that you can't see where I'm going in quick here you have to keep really paying attention da -da 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 -da. and that was Dragon Age 2 which is out early next month uh, thank you for watching I have been Drazilic until next time see you soon